If you'd like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use that promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Or if you don't, your chin will end up looking like that. And you don't want your chin to look like that, Brad. No, you don't. What is good, everybody? Welcome to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our third WWE figure review of the day. We took a closer look at the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels, the Elite 75 Mandy Rose and Kalisto, and today we are also taking a look at the brand new WrestleMania 35 Elite 2 pack of Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe. I'm very excited to get into these figures. I've been waiting on this two pack for a long, long time now, and if you guys missed those other reviews, definitely go check those out. I'm just going to put them all up to you guys today so you guys can enjoy all of those instead of breaking them off. Uh, you know, just get them all out there and let you guys enjoy them, but this pack looks ultimate. This pack looks excellent, and I'm super excited. One thing I will say, though, is I don't know. I, I think they just use this as, like, an excuse. It says WrestleMania moment, but the WrestleMania moment was nothing because Samoa Joe beat Rey Mysterio in, like, five seconds, so I really don't know what this is about, and I thought this was for the United States Championship, but I don't see a United States Championship, so I guess all of the, of the deco and all that stuff went into Rey Mysterio and uh, they did a great job on this figure for what we can see. But we're going to break him out of there. We're going to see what he looks like. But this was not much of a WrestleMania moment, if anything. But here you have the front viewing window. On the side, we do get an image of Ray and Samoa Joe right here. On the back, you do get a little bio read along with the same images. And uh, it just talks about the match and all that good stuff right there. Uh, on the right, you have an image from that match. That's probably like, uh, that, that you could probably capture the full match right there in that little thing there. But that pretty much does it for the packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack this Wrestlemania moment out of its Wrestlemania 35 packaging and take a closer look at Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and Samoan Joseph. Alright guys, so here are both figures out of the packaging here. They do not come with a ton of accessories, but I do not think that is a huge deal with these two figures. I do think at first glance they look epic, but I am ready to dive into them, get into the details, compare them to their other figures and things of that nature. So we're going to run through it just like we run through every 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review, guys. You know, usually we won't re -one. We run through one Superstar's accessories and then that Superstar, and then we run it back through the other one's accessories and that Superstar. And we're going to do the same exact thing here today, guys. So I guess what we can do is start off with Joe's accessories and then Joe and then we'll come back and run it through Rey Mysterio's accessories and Rey Mysterio. So starting off with Joe's accessories, guys, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. There's not a lot here. You guys can see that he does come with his hang loose hands. That's what I like to call them right there. So you got both hands right there. You got the left one and you got the right one. I'm flip-flopping them here. But out of the packaging, he does also come with mic holding hands. So that is something to take note of. Um, you know, just basic standard. We got this with the Elite 64 Joe. So I guess it is nice that they included this as well. Don't really know what else they could have included besides the two interchangeable hands and his signature towel that I think has came with every Joe Elite. I'm talking the 43, I'm talking the 56, I'm talking the 64, I'm talking the GameStop exclusive, and now I'm talking the 2-pack. So, you get the towel that we've seen a hundred times before, and you get the hang-loose interchangeable hands. So that does it for Joe's accessories, guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Joe himself. So starting off with Samoa Joe, guys, I think it looks pretty freaking swell, man. I'm a big fan of this head sculpt. I think that captures Joe perfectly right there. I don't know if I love it more than the Elite 64. I feel like the like the chin area, like this beard area, kind of looks a little bit just unnatural, like how this just kind of dips down out of nowhere. If you compare it to his chin right here, it's kind of natural looking, and then down here, it's just a little bit too much, but I think it definitely looks like Joe. The rest of the figure is pretty much just like the Elite 64, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any new molds. We just just got a new head sculpt going with this thing, but uh, we do have the elbow wrap on the left arm. I don't remember if the Samoa Joe from the Elite 64 had, yeah, it did, it did. The Elite 64 did have the white wrap on the left elbow, but I really like this head sculpt. I may dry brush some, some uh, black in there. I may remove that little extra skin under there too, possibly. I'm not exactly sure. Just from the side, it just kind of looks unnatural. You guys get, he kind of has like a crimson chin deal going on right there. So I, I definitely need to paint that or sand that down or something because it, it just looks odd. If you guys see what I'm saying right there, yeah, just no. But the rest of the figure looks great, man. I mean, it's a, the Elite 64 Joe with the new head sculpt. And besides that little chin issue right there, crimson chin looking Joe, uh, yeah. Now let's take a look at some Samoa Joe Elite figure comparisons. So on to some Samoa Joe Elite figure comparisons, guys. Here is the full set of Samoa Joes. You have the Elite 43, the GameStop exclusive, the Elite 56, the Elite 64, and the brand new WrestleMania 35 2-pack. 
Overall, they're pretty much all the same. You know, they did mold the leg in red on the 64 and the new WrestleMania one, which is excellent. Prevents the paint chipping that you get with this one over here. And the rest of them have that issue as well. So if we get any other Joes, I'd really like to see SummerSlam from last year, maybe in the blue. That would be a cool figure to get. Uh, the head sculpts are the biggest thing. All of these have difference besides the uh, fix-up I did over here and then the Elite 64. But let me know down in the comment section below which one of these you like better. Honestly, I, I don't know. I feel like they both look a lot like Joe, and it's really hard to say. The chin down here kind of ruins it for me. I think this chin looks a lot more natural. Uh, but I do like the haircut. I love the mohawk look and the slick back. Um, I, I, I don't know which one. I think I like this one a little bit more, but it's hard to tell. I love them both pretty much equally, but uh, I, I love this Samoa Joe, man. It looks great. I'm a big fan of Joe, and I think we're going to get a Kevin Owens Samoa Joe football game at WrestleMania 36, so uh, that's what it looks like they're building towards, but we'll see. Maybe they'll go after the tag titles or something, but that pretty much does it for your Samoa Joe Elite figure comparisons. So getting into Rey Mysterio's accessories, guys, let's start off with the big one. We have his massive cape right here that is solid rubber plastic or rubber or whatever you want to call it. It is a rubber accessory, which does suck, but I can understand it just because that, that Rey Mysterio figure itself has so much deco. They did a lot of new sculpting and new things with this figure, so I understand why they couldn't give us cloth. You know, it would have been really nice to see cloth like we saw with Hurricane, but this one has a lot more detail. I think it had like, you know, uh, you guys can see... Uh, you guys can't see it. If you lean up a little bit, you guys will see it had like little iridescent flaps on it, which are sculpted. They did sculpt that in there. You guys can see little uh, little circles sculpted on there. Uh, they did add that. It is flowy. It does have the hood. You cannot put the hood up, but you know, he did wear it up. It's on the back of the packaging there. Um, and there's some good details in here. You know, you get the gold on the front. You also get the Rey Mysterio logos that are on the little uh, circles right here from the Mysterio. Obviously, he it, obviously this attire is based off of Mysterio. Mysterio from Marvel. If you guys did not know that, well now you know. Pretty obvious. But I remember when he first came out, I thought this was super badass. I think it's crazy that he never really wore an attire like this until you know, just last year at WrestleMania 35. But I guess it made sense with the release of Spider-Man Far From Home and everything, but you know, I mean, it is solid. It does go on there, and also you have the little clasp on the front to keep it on there. But I think I'm gonna actually order a cloth uh, little thing, and I'm gonna see if that works out. I think that'd be excellent. If I can get that in here and see if it'll work. It may not be the most accurate, but it will look a lot better and he'll be able to pose around and stuff. So we'll just have to find out about that. But out of the packaging, he does come with interchangeable fists and he comes with the same like reaching out hands from the SmackDown intro back in the day and uh, or Kamehameha hands, whatever you want to call them. Look, you just put it like this, put it like that and then bam. <laughs> But I like these hands a lot better than the fists, honestly, so I will be putting this onto the figure. I just think that'll look better, but it is the same exact mold that we got with the Elite 72 Ray. So that pretty much does it for Ray Mysterio's accessories, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into Ray Mysterio himself. And getting into Rey Mysterio himself, guys, this is one beautiful looking figure. I will say, I don't know if this is just me, but does it not look like the head sculpt is a little bit too big? Maybe it's just bigger in person, but for me, it just looks like it's a little bit too big. Like, I don't know if you guys can are getting the same kind of feel that I am, but I do like the head sculpt. This is a new Rey Mysterio head sculpt, I'm pretty sure. We have not seen this mohawk with this head sculpt. He usually has the smiley face like we saw with the Elite 72, which you will see. Um, but I do like all this deco you got going on. I think they did leave off a part that's supposed to say Mysterio across his stomach, so that is unfortunate. But overall, I love the deco we got going on. You got all the tattoos under there as well. Uh, they actually even did the, they sculpted the wrinkles into this torso of the shirt, how it is like tight to his torso. You got all the gold and black logos going on. These gauntlets are sick as hell. I love that with the Rey Mysterio logo there. Oh my goodness, man, that is just epic. You got the nice armbands with the R and the crown there. Uh, question mark over here. Uh, just tons of detail into this figure, man. And the, the detail into Mysterio and then into this Rey Mysterio, it's just sick nasty. Um, I feel like the green may be a little bit too dark, but it's not a big deal to me. I still think it looks epic. I feel like the green could be a little bit lighter, but everything going on with this figure is excellent. You got the stuff going down the sides right there. Rey 619. You got the, the greatest mask of all time on the boots. You got the 619s on the back. I mean, they did not hold back anything with this figure man you got greatest mask of all time down here as well i mean they nailed it dude the question marks this figure is unreal as far as deco is concerned and then you add in the gauntlets and everything the only gripe that i really have is that head sculpt i feel like the head sculpt's a little bit too big but uh overall just an excellent figure man this thing is so fun to pose around and i'm gonna probably get a cloth cape to go with this and i think that'll make it perfection but overall just wonderful ray mysterio football figure 
So for your Rey Mysterio Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the new two-pack Rey Mysterio in the middle. Then we have the rest of the figures for Rey Mysterio that have been released since he returned to the company, minus this Elite over here. I just wanted to throw that one in there to get an extra comparison. You have the Network Spot Spotlight Target Exclusive, which, which is just a repaint of the Elite 15. You have the Elite 72. The Elite 69 is one of these, and the, I think this is an Elite 69. This is the Elite 67. Really excellent figures, and this is the comparison that we can make right here between the head sculpts and head sizes. It does look like this one is slightly larger and the uh, mohawk is a little bit bigger as well if we put them up side by side. Uh, maybe not though. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's just the, maybe it's the mohawk that makes it look so big or something. I, I don't know. But uh, overall, I, I really do love it, man. I, I really do like this Mysterio a lot as far as the details and the deco goes. But overall, I think I like the Elite 72 a little bit better. I don't know. I love the details and all the stuff we're getting from this, but I think I like the Elite 72 better. You know, you get the tattoos, you get the, I don't know. I love the white contrast on here, but the details on this figure are sick as hell. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, but it's really epic to see all these Rey Mysterio figures. Have plenty up on the shelf, but I did want to compare all the ones that we've gotten from him since he uh, came back to WWE. But that pretty much does it for our two-pack WrestleMania 35 Elite Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe. Guys, if you would like to pick up this set or pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Really excellent two-pack. I love the de the deco or the de 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 deco work on these figures, uh, especially Rey Mysterio. Obviously, there's not really any deco on the Samoa Joe, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, there is some issues with the size of the head. There is some issues with the size of the chin on uh, on Samoa Joe over there. But ultimately, I enjoy the figures. I think it's great. You know, a little modification here. I think Ray's great as well. Maybe the head's not a little bit too big. Maybe it just looks that way. Maybe an optical illusion with the Mysterio going on. I don't freaking know. But I enjoy both figures a lot. Again, go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Use that promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. But I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.